Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Today we're back with another episode of Return 2. This is episode 43. And today we are back on Call of Duty World War 2. And yeah, hopefully we can do well. I decided to rock with... There's someone around here. Decided to rock with... Probably the best weapon in the game, in my personal opinion. The BAR is incredible. So we'll see how we can do. I mean, look at that, man. Already. Oh, dang it. Thought I could get the turn on kill, but unfortunately it was not meant to be. But, yeah, so we're back on World War II today. Because, well, in, in all reality, I have a... Oh my gosh. That was close. In all reality, I have a random generator that I click on that will, like, randomly pick a Call of Duty game for me to play for that week. So, and Call of Duty World War II came up for this week, so that's one of the main reasons we're playing it, but also... We're playing it because, I mean, as you guys know, Call of Duty 2021 is... Wow. Wow, okay. That guy just came in and all of a sudden music music was playing. Run! Don't die. Don't die. What's this guy going to do? There's somebody up there. I'm going to run away. Going to run away. Or did he wrap around over here? There's a recon plane. Go ahead and call that in. And this has got me spooked because... No! I want to see this. Aw, oh, darn it. I think... I think I died there because I took some damage from the... From the... Bouncing Betty. And then he... Dang it. <clears throat> and then he sniped me or got a headshot. So that's why I died there. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. No big deal. But also, Call of Duty 2021 is going to be a World War II shooter, most likely. At least we think it's going to be. I mean, we could absolutely be blown away and it could just, it could come out and it could be a advanced warfare game. Who knows? Who knows what Sledgehammer is going to do? this year we have no idea we haven't heard anything again we're all assuming why do i keep getting outgunned man is my bar he has my class how did i get outgunned there i don't understand maybe i need to control the recoil better i think that's the best thing yeah controlling the recoil definitely just worked right there with that gun fight nope darn it man There we go. Yes. Nice. There's three guys down. That was beautiful. What happened to my teammate? I don't know. Okay. But, I mean, we all think, and the leaks that we've been receiving from the insiders, Tom Henderson and, the, and Modern Warfare 2 Ghosts, have all been hinting towards a World War II game. So, we'll have to see. We haven't heard anything, but we're probably going to hear something soon. So it's probably a pretty darn good time to be playing Call of Duty World War II. But honestly, I like this game. I think Call of Duty World War II is probably my second favorite Call of Duty game in the past few years. So. I'm definitely not opposed to the idea. Of a World War II game. So. We'll see. Oh my gosh, man. I couldn't even see that guy, but you know what? Any gunfight that I win, I'm happy to win. Oh no. Run. Run, run, run. Please don't die. No, man. I must have been... I'll have to look when I rewatch when I watch the gameplay back. I probably was one off. Or two kills off a... Damn it. I'm gonna get no kills with this. Well, that sucks. 
Might have been one or two kills away from a... From a... Emergency airdrop. That's a bummer. It's alright though, there's a ton of game left. Let's go, man. Bar putting in that work. Love to see it. Marty Dumb? Oh, hit marker. You got a hit marker. Come on, man. We got to get a 3 KD. That's always, always, always the goal. Every time you play this game, 3 KD is the goal. Okay. Got some hit markers. These guys love to play in the back of their mat, in the, in the back of their spawn. Okay, is there someone over here? There's a guy there. I'm sure they're still over there. I'm sure they're over to my right still. I'm sure of it. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, they're back over here, maybe. Nice. Good job, teammate. It was a beautiful shot, if I do say so myself. Don't die by the LMG guy. It's always the worst. The LMGs in this game are so, so good. Just throw that over there for the heck of it. But yeah, if you guys have never played Call of Duty World War II, I definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend giving it a go. I don't know how much it is. In all honesty, I'm sure it's probably still 60 bucks on Steam, but I would highly recommend not buying it on PC because the, the player base is probably very, very, very tiny. But buying it on console, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Play, PlayStation or Xbox, I'm sure there's quite a few people playing this. Either way, there's always going to be people playing Call of Duty World War II because at the moment, it's the only next-gen Call of Duty game, or World War II Call of Duty game, so, but anyway guys, 24 and 7, not too bad of a score there, we also got ourselves the play of the game, yeah, I really enjoyed that, and you know what, for these return to videos, I think I'm going to play two games per video, so, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this gameplay so far, or this video so far, I should say, and I'll see you guys all in game number two. Alright guys, and welcome into game number two, we're playing some TDM on Winter Carantan, hopefully we can do well, I actually kind of have a theory with this game that regular Carantan is like not in the game anymore like I never play on the regular version I always play on the winter version and I, that might be because I don't have the regular version installed I don't know just was an assumption but hopefully we can do well rocking with the M2 carbine which is an interesting AR it's like right in the middle of the pack, I'd say. Obviously, it's a variation of the M1 carbine. And that was some horrible aim. And I have a fire axe. Nice. What a great class. So hope this guy re-peaks, which he did. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Steal if I, see if I can steal. No, give me the bar. Thank you. I don't even remember how the M1 carbine is in this game. I know how the M2 carbine is. It's pretty darn good. We're actually doing well with it right now. I'm calling this recon plane. See if we can find where these guys are at. There's a guy. Okay, I don't know how much he made him kill that guy. He was on the radar, but it's fine. We're doing well, and that's really what matters to me is doing well. Is me doing well. I don't really care about how good my teammates do. Please don't die. We are one off of streaks. Oh my gosh. The bar is just insane. It's just so good. Okay. You gotta be so careful about snipers, though. 
Okay, I want to keep using the M2 carbine. We have a little bit of ammo left in it, so I'm going to get <clears throat> a few more kills with it, I think. Or I should be able to get at least one. Maybe two. Depends on how accurate I'm feeling at the moment. Ooh. Someone just killed my teammate. Oh, yeah. We can definitely get two, one more kill with this thing. I'm assuming. Okay. We're going to... I'm going to try and stay alive. Just got noob tubed. I'm going to try and stay alive as long as I can. See what can happen. And I'm dead. That was quick. I was going to see if I might be able to get a V2 rocket or something. Nope, that's not going to happen. Yes, beautiful. Got two guys with that. That is pretty much the best I can ask for. When it comes to that streak. But yeah, in all reality, one thing... Oh my dang it, man. Guy camping up there. One thing that I really, really hope to see with the next Call of Duty game... If it is World War II, is I really want to see the streaks be better. Because in Vanguard, or in this Call of Duty game, the streaks weren't really that great. Um, they were pretty weak. Turn them up. And didn't do a lot of damage. So I would like to see, in the next game, much, much better streaks. Nice. So yeah, as I said, I got rid of the... I have to switch away from this. I switched to the emergency airdrop for the flamethrower, because the flamethrower is just really freaking fun to use. And I'm going to die. Ooh, that was very, very close. The guy almost just destroyed us. Right as we spawned, too. Which is not very nice. Oh, let's go. I knew that the bar only has max 30. So I was just going to wait for him to, f to spray away. Come on. All right. But yeah, if they had really, really good streaks, and if it is a World War II game, it's going to be pretty good. So, I mean, obviously, SBMM is going to be in the game. There's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. Oh, I completely just juked that guy out. I'm sorry. No, I'm just going to cancel that honestly I want to finish off my flamethrower what the what the heck we have like one more kill with the flamethrower I'm gonna have to no I tried to get away I tried didn't work out didn't work out but we're 18 and 4 that is not bad at all, honestly. I will happily take that. I just wish these guys weren't playing so freaking campy. This might have been a boring video, and if that is the case, I do apologize for that. It was not intentional. It's just the way... I mean, I... Okay, that, those guys are a little bit too far away. I'm not going to get on the turret either, because I'm going to die if I do that. But let me go back over here. But yeah, again, also what I'm looking forward to with World War II Vanguard is hopefully the maps are good as well, and the weapon balance was good, and that they bring some of the stuff that they brought into Call of Duty World War II back into another into Vanguard as well, like the headquarters, which was an incredible addition, uh, contracts, the DLC. Well, the DLC system is going to be the same as Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War, but. If they added contracts and stuff, that would be awesome. I mean, there was just a, there was really a lot of very, very, very good additions into Call of Duty World War II. Pretty underrated COD game, in my opinion. Just with all the stuff that they did in this game was awesome. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward, definitely looking forward to COD 2021. Nice, that guy was easy peasy. Oh gosh, that's a sniper. Get down! I mean, I'd also like to see the snipers be a little bit weaker too. 
Snipers in this game were way overpowered. Dang it. Man, these guys are these guys are boring. These guys are very, very boring players to play against. These guys just don't move. We're still doing well against them. We're dying too a little bit too much though. But see what happens when they rush though? I mean, see what happens when they actually decide to move? They get destroyed. Oh gosh. What the heck? Where is this guy? Where are you at? There you are. Hello. Okay, I think they should be spawning over here. I think my teammates managed to push them out of their spawn. Oh my gosh. That was so close. Should we try and get a fire axe kill? Watch out! Oh my gosh. You're welcome. You're welcome. Up. No! I... Dang it, man. I probably I should have waited until I got my actual flamethrower before I did that. I was one off a flamethrower. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is all for fun anyway, so it's not like I'm not taking this that seriously. So it's not, it doesn't matter too much if we die. Obviously, the rules still stand. I want to do well and get a good gameplay, but... It's more it's more about fun than anything. Okay, let me go back. I just enjoy playing this game. I can't play this game for a super super long time. But when I do play this game, I do have fun. All right, let's go back over here. Also, another fun fact about this game for me is that this is the only non-Treyarch game that I've ever gotten a master prestige in. So, shows you guys how good the game is. And another 10-minute gameplay. I mean, if you guys really like Call of Duty World War II, then this video was hopefully enjoyable. But if you don't enjoy this game, probably wasn't a very enjoyable video. I'm going to get this guy. Yes! Fire Axe kill. Let's go. Reach the goal of the video. Get in the Fire Axe kill. Nice. Another guy down. Man, this M2 Carbine is pretty darn good. I'm going to try and get another Fire Axe kill. Yes! Got him. <laughs> let's go so fun all right we're at the 4kd let's not die anymore please don't die anymore nope don't trust that and there we go 32 and 8 gameplay number two of the video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I did have a lot of fun talking about World War II Vanguard, talking about Call of Duty World War II itself. Yeah, as I mentioned in my video from yesterday, Call of Duty World War II Vanguard, or whatever Sledgehammer's next game is going to be, should be revealed in the very, very near future. Within the month of August, it will be revealed. Part of me, which is pretty darn awesome, so I, I can't wait to see what Sledgehammer Games has to offer because I really did enjoy their last game. And even Advanced Warfare is growing on me quite a bit. I, I, I've i gone back and played it quite a bit. Not quite a bit, but like my last week video was a return to video and everything like that. And I went back and I really, really had a good time in Advanced Warfare as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Sledgehammer Games has to offer for their third Call of Duty game. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, a like rate is always appreciated. If you want to check out any of my other previous return to videos, they will all be linked down below between the playlist in the description. As well as my previous episode. We'll be at the end of the video as well. We'll see you guys all on another Call of Duty video very, very soon.